O class is two ta kuisna pis, is taktis la kus la u kwet, mate i was a class, u tis ahne ha with nuk mis, nuk mis a class. Uma tuk mahtas la hoye a chopatis, a hat la pit daktis pis, is taktis a ya ha hook to mis, is taktis a hook. I'm going to talk about the teachings of uh, canoe building uh, in the forest. When my late grandfather and my father were here, they uh, told me about making canoes, that uh, the taking of a tree like this was not just to go there any old time. And you know, when you look around here, it's beautiful in the forest here, and I really do love it here. And in the background, we hear those ravens and all the other birds that are here that are celebrating the returning of the, the springtime. Trees would never be cut in the springtime or in the summertime because uh, there are birds which may be nesting up there which we cannot see from here. Look into any of these trees here, we cannot see what's up there. And the birds may be nesting. And it was told uh, by my father and my grandfather that, uh, that we have a great respect for these creatures. Our connectedness to the forests and, and how our people celebrate it. And uh, it gives me a great joy today to listen to those birds back there. That, you know, it's a beautiful day here. And to hear those birds, you know, this here, uh, being in the forest like this was also, uh, uh, it was our church. You know, this is where our people learned many things of the connectedness to the land. And I feel that is why it was very important that uh, people used uh, the resources very wisely here. Was, you know, when uh, we uh, harvested things out of the forest, it was very important to, to be uh, very mindful of all the things that are around everything. Each time I have uh, carved canoes in the forest with groups of people, uh, they have really appreciated being in the forest. And um, it, 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 it really makes a kind of like a camaraderie. When people come in here and we can carve here in a place such as this, it, it is really peaceful, so peaceful. It really gives me a great feeling of peace to be right here. Right here, it's incredible. And I want to uh, share more of that with uh, other um, peoples who may be interested in carving canoes and learning the protocols of carving a canoe. The name that I carry, Tuta Kuisna Pshisle, it uh, certainly does uh, um, come with a responsibility about teaching the laws of the land and, you know, to listen to the creatures that are here today. And, you know, it's, it's a thing that uh, a place like this is one of the best places to teach that, is being out here in the forest. To find a cedar tree, uh, it is interconnected with the forest because, you know, when we, uh, we are here, we get to see so much more than if we're just sitting inside of a shop. Um, yeah, we would have uh, uh, came here and, and carved the hull of a canoe out and then carried it out, slid it out through the bush down towards the beach. Yeah, these are um, things that, you know, only place we can really learn it is here. And you know, when uh, it, it was uh, before Europeans arrived here, you know, I often think about how on earth did our ancestors do those things? Uh, they had stone, bone, and fire. But you know, beyond those tools, our roles and responsibilities to these forests and the way it all looks like this here, you know, when you look all around here, the incredible beauty of this forest is just the way it is. It's. Uh, to be passed on to our future generations, and we have to pass it on like that.
and, and stop uh, the destructive use by forest industry of, of these places. And it, uh, it makes me very sad when I see shiploads and shiploads of wood going out across the ocean on those great big craters that are being loaded in Port Alberni and in, uh, in Duncan and uh, in Nanaimo and all these other places where that may be happening. And so those are things that we all have to be concerned of. You know, our uh, economies were here in, in these forests take only what we need. You know, the elders told us that Mother Nature will provide for our needs, but not our greed. this way.
nature will provide for our needs, but not our greed.